The United Nations and other aid agencies are urging countries to reverse their decision to suspend funds to the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency. It follows Israel's claims that some staff were involved in the 7th of October Hamas attack. UNRWA has fired several staffers suspected of involvement and is also investigating the allegations. Well, at least nine countries say they suspending or reviewing their donations to UNRWA. And these include the top five donors, like the US and Germany, as well as the UK, Australia and Japan. Well, France has yet to plan for new funding for the agency and says it will decide what action to take in conjunction with the UN and its main donors when the time comes. However, Ireland and Norway have expressed their continued support, acknowledging the agency's crucial work to help Palestinians in desperate need of assistance in Gaza. Well, UNRWA is considered a lifeline for those suffering in Gaza. The UN says that two million civilians in the besieged enclave depend on the agency for critical aid. Some 3,000 of UNRWA's core staff out of 13,000 in Gaza continue to report to work despite the war. The Arab League has held an emergency meeting to discuss the issue. The Secretary General condemned the funding cuts as a targeted Israeli campaign to prevent UNRWA from serving Palestinians. The group also voiced surprise that Western nations such as the U.S. have decided to stop funding at a crucial time for those in need. And for more on this, Sarah Coates joins us live from Tel Aviv. Well, Sarah, how long can Gaza go on without UNRWA's aid? Hello there, Otelli. Well, look, that is yet to be seen, but we do need to remember this is the largest UN agency operating in the Gaza Strip. According to the Commissioner General, Philip Lazzarini, it serves almost 2 million people. He says that without this aid, the entire humanitarian uh, operation will collapse. But look, we do need to also talk about these allegations being levelled by Israel they are certainly very, very concerning as well. According to a dossier that was pre presented to the United States and seen by a number of media organisations like the New York Times, one of these UNRWA employees... Uh Uh, well, I'm afraid we've lost a connection with Sarah, but uh, we might speak to her a little later on the show. 